I have an update for all you good folks out there. Um, lab's getting set up quite nicely. We got a clean room here. Positive pressure with a glove box. Got a nice chemistry station. This will come in handy for degassing that water that we're going to use. Here's where I'm going to set up the sonoluminescence test. And uh, to begin with, I'm just going to replicate the traditional setup with the spherical beaker, the round bottom beaker, and uh, get the whole system tuned, you know, probably learn a lot along the way about practical sonoluminescence. It's one thing to understand something on paper, but to do it, uh, you know, there's always that additional technical challenge. So, and then later on, once, uh, once we pull off the traditional system, I want to start moving on to other shaped containers, um, specifically the torus shaped container. You know, we'll see what it does standing still. We'll see what it does with different liquids. We'll see what it does if we perhaps rotate the torus container with a motor or something. You know, lots of different things I want to try out there. Um, and that's just a starting point, really. So, this is it. The rest of the stuff's on its way. The uh, Amazon truck has everything else on it, so it'll have my piezoelectric transducers, it'll have some wires that I'll need, uh, the ferrite rod, the glass beakers, uh, audio amplifier for the signal generator. What lab could be complete without a 3D printer? So, <clears throat> this will help me build, you know, the harness for the Taurus, you know, if I want to spin it, you know, parts, anything we need extra, we got right, we, we got covered with this bad boy right here. It's, uh, in case anyone's wondering, it was a Any Cubic Cobra Max. And the reason I chose this one uh, is because it has a huge print volume. It's about 14 and a half by 14 and a half by 15 and a half, I think. For some reason, I want to say it's 15 by 15 by 17, but, you know, I don't remember. But, so yeah, got that good, and uh, I think we're set. I think we're set to go. Set to go. Oh yeah, just throw it in there, but um, I also sell gems and crystals and cool shit, so... Uh, you know, if that's your jam, then let me know. All right, well, that concludes today's lab update. Oh, it's actually the first update. I, well, yeah, honestly, that's the first time. Really showed off the lab, I guess. Uh, so, you know, as far as other content, um, all I have right now is uh, just a couple videos on my YouTube page. Um, I was able to be on a guest on the APEC conference. That was pretty cool. And uh, I think there were the other videos just like, honestly, kind of a bad hour long um, info dump, I guess you could call it, about what uh, ex exactly where my ideas lie. Um, I think the next step will be to make a nice video, obviously not so relax on a hot summer day but uh you know a little more informative and really get all the detailed points in that i want to make like into a nice structured format so uh because that apec presentation like that was real on the fly i only had like a few days notice on that i just kind of got slipped in so that was lucky um and then the stream that was like my first time like <laughs> streaming it was live uh you know it was kind of nerve-wracking but uh but no i'm gonna <clears throat> keep you guys more up to date and uh, it'll be sweet i think it'll get better once we can get some footage of uh sonoluminescence and maybe even some slow-mo footage and 
I think that would be really inspiring to see, and then we'll start thinking about those other uh, containers and the other modifications that I'd like to try out. So, uh, it's been real, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>